Hello, welcome back to another video from the Jamie Lewis Vacuum Collection channel. Today I am here with the Hoover Capsule Stick Vacuum. Um, yeah, this is my first Hoover model. Um, this is stick. This is a stick vacuum cleaner. Um, that's basically two in one as an upright and also a detachable handheld, like so. So yeah, this is two in one. So, yeah, I got this last night. Um, it's dirty, so we'll clean that up. I'm not going to do it on video, I'll clean it up um, while off uh, camera. And uh, I'll just be going over it, checking uh, what parts and that need looking at. Um, I've let it charge overnight, so it's got full charge in it. Um, so, yeah, let's start from bottom to top and we'll see what needs looking at. So, starting with the cleaner head, so I'm going to remove this to start with. Right, let's have a look. This is meant to be a turbo brush, but this is actually meant to be an electric power head. Okay. The brush roll does need a bit of a clean, but I can sort that while off camera. I'll sort that out. Um, let's try it, see how fast it spins with the motor working. Right, just put it on its back. Okay, now that didn't seem to be spinning very fast, so that will need looking at and needs uh, probably the things inside are dirty and it needs cleaning out, so. I'll have a look at that and fix that, but it looks like it's working, so that seems to be okay. I'm going to try suction on this from the handheld. Let's see how strong suction is, shall we? There is okay suction, but it's not a strong glow, so... I'm going to have a look at the filters and see if the filters have got anything to do with it. Um, let's pull this out. Yeah, cyclone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the filter needs vacuuming and the shroud needs vacuuming as well. So obviously this doesn't use the same cyclonic separation system like Dyson and the Vax Air Steerable Max. This doesn't have the same cyclonic separation system. Like I said, it's just basic and it allows the dust and the airflow to pass through, clogging the filter. So what I'll need to do is I'll clean that out with a, a vacuum cleaner, probably the Vax. So, yeah, I'll clean this out now. Okay, so I've got the Vax air steerable here, and what we're going to do with the Vax is I'm going to vacuum the shroud and the filter, um, vacuum it all off and clean it all up. So yeah, I'll be using the... Uh, Vax Air Steelable Max Pet for this. So let's do that now then. Let's clean it up. Okay, so um, that looks a little bit better. It's still a bit dusty, so this will probably need more vacuuming over, but 
that does look a bit better. Um, so there's not as much dust on it now. So what we'll do is I'm going to pop it back into the um, the Hoover capsule uh, cyclonic system uh, separation system, and let's put it back in here and we'll try suction now. Only this suction is going to be a bit stronger. Should we try it? Here we go. Okay, um, there was a little bit stronger suction there, so I'd imagine the filters being cleaned out but it did actually help it. So that did help with the filters being cleaned out, so there was a little bit more suction there, so that is good. Um, what I'm going to look at focusing now is, I'm just going to take the brush off the, all this hair and dust and that off the brush roll. And I'll get pick that up using the uh, Air Steerable Max to the, to the side of me. So let's quickly uh, remove all this fibre, everything off here from the machine. Uh, so yeah, this, this is all the fibres and that which get stuck between the brushes on the brush roll. Uh, it's kind of annoying actually, removing all this fibre, uh, all this fibre and that etc. It's, it's so annoying. Um, okay, right. Uh, okay. okay, should be nearly done. Let's pick up this last little bit here. Okay, right, let's stand that back up. I'm going to put this back on charge. Put it back on this uh, charging dock. And let that charge. And what I'm going to do now is pick up all this little bit here with the backs. So let's go ahead and pick this up. So, yeah, if I just turn it for you, yeah, that's on charge. Um, this green light here, that is indicating that it's it's on charge. So, yeah, that green light down there indicates that it's on charge. So, that's going to be charging now. And, uh, yeah, while it's charging, I'm going to do a refurbishment and we'll uh, get it all cleaned up and hopefully get it working like new again. So... Yeah, there we go. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it there for today. So thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you've liked what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to also hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any new content I do. And um, yeah, so keep tuned and this will obviously be done up. Oh, and also a quick update regarding the DC24. Um, the Dyson, I'm afraid, will not be refurbished. I am just going to keep it for spares. What I'm going to do, once I do get another DC24 model, I will swap some of the spares that are needed for the other model onto, um, onto that model. So if I have another DC24 come in, I'll use spares off the one I've currently got onto another one that could benefit. So new filters, for example, could benefit the another model. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, do it like that. So I'm afraid you won't be seeing an after refurbishment, I'm afraid, on that DC24 because of the current situation it's in. So anyway, we'll leave it there. So thank you for watching and I shall see you all very soon. Take care now guys, bye.